All right, in this Blender Quick Tip video, I'm going to show you a different way or a different method you can use for aiming lights or pretty much any other object at another object. But specifically, this works in handy for lights. You know, the old typical way we, we would do this, like right now I'm in front side view and I'm also in orthographic view. So you would t select this lamp and then you press R for rotate and then you'd point it at the cube. And from this viewpoint, it looks like it's set correctly. But if I was to look at it in top side view, it's not aimed correctly, which means while I'm in top side view, I also have to press R for rotate and then do it that way. Now it's aimed at the cube. Now there's another way of going about this. Now let me press Control Z a couple times to reset that camera pardon me, to reset that uh, lamp. Now, what if we were able to actually look through this lamp as if it was a camera? Because right now, if we was to select this camera, we can actually, like, if this was set to camera to view, and we looked through it, we can actually navigate through the camera. What if we could do that, but through the light instead? That way we could essentially aim the light just as simply as we did right here. Well you can actually do that and here's how you go about it. Right now I'm in front side view. Let me zoom out just a little bit. All I have to do is select this um, lamp and then press instead of just pressing zero because if you press zero you go in the camera view. But if you was to press control zero now you're looking through the uh, lamp essentially. And if while in this view, you press R tw twice, the letter R, one, two, now you can navigate or aim the camera, pardon me, aim the lamp like a camera just by dragging your mouse. And now you just essentially just put the dot on the cube and you're good to go. If I was to press one to go back in the front side view, you could see that the light is pointed at the cube. Now one thing you do need to keep in mind is now your light is essentially set up as your camera so all you really have to do to get out of that is just select your camera and then press control zero to basically turn your camera back into a camera and turn the spotlight off from being a camera, if that makes any sense. I'm probably not using the right descriptors for it, but that's essentially what it means. But anyway, I figured that'd be useful for some people. Guess that's it. Later, people.